So Kenny Smith over there with Inside the NBA over there at Turner made a pretty erroneous comment to me the other day. He said LeBron James is his 10th or 11th best player of all time. That was what Kenny Smith said. And, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Kenny Smith is an NBA champion. He played on those great Hakeem Olajuwon teams. Who am I to tell Kenny Smith anything about basketball? He's a professional basketball player. He has every right to give his perspective. I disagree with it, but he's he has every right to give his perspective. I always get baffled by some of the old heads who tell me their basketball perspectives. They always talk about how some of you young guys, y'all... Y'all don't understand what basketball used to be. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get What are you talking about? I've watched the tape. So y'all can't play those arguments with me because I watch film. I watch tape. I study the game of basketball. And if you're telling me LeBron is 10th or 11th on your list of all-time players, I'm looking you right in your eye and telling you that makes absolutely no sense. I don't care who you is. I don't care what you've done. There's no way you came up with a list of LeBron being 10th or 11th. He even had Kobe like 11th as well on that list. There's no way you came up with that list unbiasedly. I get it. Some of you guys that are 40 plus, y'all are prisoners of y'all moment. I get it. I, look, I get it. That is the basketball that you grew up on. The Kareems, the Wilts, even the Elgin Baylors, the Oscar Robertsons. I get it. The respect is too much for that era though. One thing Kenny Smith said that I'll agree with. He said it's easier to score today than it was 20, 30 years ago. I'm 100% agreeing with him with that. But he left out the, the butt to that piece. That, there's, a, a, there's a comma butt to that. The comma butt is it's because the, the guys of today are more skilled. Yes, it's easier to score in today's NBA, but today's game has more skilled players. If you're going to argue me that defense is not what it used to be, the competitive nature is not what it used to be, I'll give you that. But the elite of the elite of this generation, the Kevin Durant's, the Kawhi Leonard's, and the LeBron James of the world, they're as great of talents we've seen in this game ever. And I'll put them up with anyone not named Michael Jeffrey Jordan. I'll put them, and I'll argue Kevin Durant's talent is better than Michael Jordan's. Michael is just the greatest to ever do it because mentally he was somewhere that no other athlete in the history of sports has been able to get to. That's my feeling on that. I want to stick with Magic Johnson. I want to just use Magic Johnson as my example. I don't want to go harsh on Magic because, first off, he looks like the friendliest guy in the room. I worked at ESPN. I never met Magic. He worked at the Los Angeles location. I worked at Bristol, Connecticut. I can only imagine me, Magic Johnson, would be like meeting the nicest auntie you got, meeting you, the nicest grandma that would just cook everything for you, make sure you, you leave her house full, you know, just, just pamper you. I can only imagine that Magic Johnson is that type of dude because everybody that I know that have met him say he's literally the nicest person you could ever meet, right? Okay, let's have a conversation about Magic Johnson and LeBron James. Two all-timers, legends, magic, billionaire, financially just great at everything he does. How can you look at Magic Johnson and how can you look at LeBron James and come out of that telling me that Magic was better than LeBron? How? I'm asking you. Because with Kenny saying that Matt LeBron is 10th or 11th on his list and Kobe's behind that, I'm guessing that means he has I'm, – I'm, most guys have Magic – in their top five or top ten. And him and Kareem always kind of confuse me a little bit. Right? Because you got to believe Kobe's 11th or 12th on Kenny Smith's list. Because he played with Shaq. Right? Kobe's got five rings. You got to believe Kenny. His logic behind Kobe 11th or 12th. Because there's no way you're telling me Magic Johnson was more skilled than Kobe Bryant. You can't tell me that. You can't be. We say Kobe is the remix to Michael Jordan. You can't tell me that. You cannot be telling me that Magic is more skilled than Kobe. So I'm going to say, I'm going to take up for Kenny Smith here, and I'm going to say the reason why he has Kobe Bryant, Lord of Magic, is because Kobe played with Shaq. If that is the logic behind it, then Kenny Smith doesn't make sense to me. The Magic Johnson conversation is weird to me. What puts Magic Johnson over LeBron? Is it the rings that he's got? Let me know. If it, it's, if, is it the rings that he's got? If it's the rings that he's got, then say that. I don't believe every basketball argument can be argued by rings, though. Why? Okay, 
Most people that have Magic Johnson in their top 10 also have Kareem in their top 10. Okay, now you're confusing me. So, wait a minute. Magic and Kareem both get to be top 10 guys, but they play with each other for most of each other's success? How does that make sense? How does that make sense? Even Shaq and Kobe. You, you can put Shaq and Kobe above LeBron? How does that make sense? How does it make sense? Because what I've watched LeBron James do, and I'm the biggest Kobe Bryant fan you can find out there. I'll tell you all my logic with LeBron and Kobe in a second. What I've watched LeBron James have to do, is he the, mentally the guy of Kobe Bryant? Nah, I think, he, I think he's somewhere under Kobe mentally. He never went to me to the places the black mama could go. But he's had to kind of be the median between what Shaq brought to the table with those Los Angeles Lakers team and what Kobe brought to the Los, those Los Angeles Lakers teams. Kobe had to be the perimeter scorer, but Shaq was the dominating force. Kobe was able to get looks because you couldn't double down on Kobe early in his career because they had that big fella who was literally fouling everybody out on the Sacramento Kings. Okay, LeBron's had to be the facilitator and the dominating force. So he's had to play median of the Kobe and Shaq, the median of the Kareem and Magic. LeBron's had to be the point guard like Magic. At the same time, he had to go out there his entire career, give you eight rebounds a game like Kareem or over that. So LeBron has had to pick and pick parts of what Kareem and Magic had did with each other, what Kobe and Shaq had to do with each other. And look, man, all due respect to Dwayne Wade, he was a shell of himself after that first year that LeBron was down there with them in South Beach. All due respect to Kyrie, literally Kyrie Irving has not gotten past the first round of the playoffs since he left LeBron. We didn't get past the first round of the playoffs before he might, matter of fact, never made the playoffs before LeBron got to Cleveland. And since then, he's been injured, injured, injured. Teammates are tired of him. And he's injured again right now. Literally, he's injured right now. All right? He's not going to be a top 10, top 15, top 20 guy all time. I think that's safe to say. So, Dwayne Wade might be a top 20 guy all time. Lower teens, I'm fine with that. Maybe in your 20s. Kyrie, not top 50 right now. Not top 50 right now all time. Okay. LeBron has had to be both Kareem and Magic. Pick and choose little pieces. He had to be both Kobe and Shaq. Pick and choose little pieces. Can't be Kobe all the way mentally because I still got to go out there and get rebounds, dominate the game, be the guy that fouls out of the guys' players. So you have to pick and choose little pieces. The Kobe and LeBron thing for me ain't in this video. I've said it numerous times. Right now, LeBron is ahead of Kobe on my all-time list. But it's an asterisk by it. Depends on what LeBron's career ends up in L.A. Like, again, this season, we don't know what's going to come of this season in the bubble. But... If LeBron can win one ring in L.A., I'll never, I'll never be able to put Kobe ahead of him. I have to respect that that man would have went to three teams and won a championship. At age 35, that man is giving me 25, uh, 10.5 10 assists a game, and 7, 8 rebounds a game. I have to respect that. I have to respect that. I have to respect that. At, at his age, at 35, I have to respect that. If you can go three different places and win a championship, I have to respect that. For Kenny Smith to say LeBron's not as high as 10th or 11th on his list, to me, it, 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 re it refutes any argument that you're having. I can't even take you serious. And again, Kenny Smith played with a legend in Hakeem that I feel like doesn't get enough credit because Tim Duncan and them Spurs came in and essentially got rid of the, the, them Rockets and their legacy, right? I just think we don't really have those conversations the way they need to be. Nobody's pushing back at Kenny. Nobody's pushing back at Charles Barkley. How are you guys telling me that Magic and Kareem are both all-time top 10 guys, Shaq and Kobe for some guys, say that they're both all-time top 10, and they all play with each other. Now, I'll give Kobe credence because he won two without Shaq. I'll give Shaq credence because he won one without Kobe. And he got to the finals with Penny. Or got to the... He, he had success with Penny. Conference finals, excuse me. He had success with Penny. So I got to give Shaq that respect. That credence. I know Kareem had a little success with the Bucks. Most of what Magic did was alongside the big fella though. Most of it. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment box below. 
Kenny says LeBron and, and Kobe are 10th, 11th, 12th on his all-time list. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I need to see who he has specifically in front of uh, LeBron and Kobe because I just don't get it sometimes, man. I'm out.